We have two surfaces defined um, for our analysis, the front wall and the left wall. So I'm going to reopen my existing surface and go to the left wall. I'm going to set my color to yellow and hit OK, and it's going to align it to the left wall. So now we're going to add an image to the left wall and align it to these targets and this sticker. So the more known reference points on your surface, the better for alignment. It will use the best fit for the number of uh, picked points and corresponding points. So I'm going to choose photo and I'm going to select the photo for the left wall. I'm going to place it from the bottom left corner on the surface, but not in the way of the points I'm going to align it to. So automatically it, it zooms into the photo and we get our little photo transparency and adjust dialog. So I'm going to pick points on the image that I want to use for alignment. So I'll pick the targets. and I'll pick the corner of this A. When you're done picking points, you can hit enter, and you see the line is now looking for its corresponding point. So I'll select the target here. The second target down here. and the bottom of the A. So our photo gets aligned to those three picks and we can adjust the transparency. We can toggle it on and off. And if we want to adjust the image uh, left, right, up or down along the surface, we can hit the adjust button, select the image and hit OK. And then we can adjust the increment if we'd like, but as you hit the arrow buttons, it's going to be moving the image up, down, left, right, along the surface at this defined increment. If you're unhappy with the alignment, you can always hit the align button, and the align button will allow you to pick your um, reference points on the image and the corresponding points in the scene all from the start without having to reinsert the image.